You've written a book, uh, and it's titled Driven by Desperation. What inspired you to write this book? I just have a copy here. I got a copy here. I'll go ahead if you yep. want to sure. pull up yours, too. I um, fine. This is my first book. One will be, uh, th I'm sure there will be several. We're in the process of writing uh, a business book right now. But the first one is titled Driven by Desperation. Mm -hmm. And the meaning is quite profound. Because as I started earlier by saying, I'm from a third world nation. And uh, it's not easy. But you can allow desperation to do th two things. You can allow it to destroy you, or you can allow it to propel you. Um, I see my desperation uh, that I was um, uh, subject to uh, grinding poverty as a, as a young boy, uh, a means to <laughs> propel me to the success that I now enjoy here in America. Um, America has been very good to me. Um, I'm originally from Jamaica, but I am a naturalized citizen, and I'm very be proud to be an American, and I'm, I'm doing my part in paying, paying it forward and trying to uh, contribute to the um, prosperity, long-term prosperity of this country. A book like this, it gives you hope. It gives you um, inspiration. It, it challenges your, your, your ambition. It teaches you forgiveness. So it, it really can help to bend, shape, and mold uh, the people that are here thinking they don't have a chance and they don't have an opportunity. Because I came here and I actually did something that I am extremely proud of, and these wonderful ladies have allowed me to even develop today a greater uh, sense of uh, appreciation for that. Desperation or your destitute situation could do one of two things. You can let it beat you down, you can let it destroy you, or you can allow it to be that um, energy, that source, that power that lies just about in all of us. When you tap into your own God-given talents, your five common sense, and use them really well, and you challenge yourself, because it's not enough to just go from point A to point B. You have to say to yourself once you're there, what else? Don't get complacent. Challenge yourself. Keep moving. I used to work 104 hours to 112 hours at one point in my life. So I would work two full-time jobs, and I would work a part-time job. It was all a part of the desperation. It was all a part, a part of being driven. Um, it was, it, was, it was worth it. So I tell people a lot of times, I say, you know, I'm a proud graduate from the College of Adversity, uh, Faith, and Prayer.